Joining us in studio, Steve Wiseman covers Duke for the News and Observer. Did did Mike Elko get a quick lesson this week on what really moves the needle yeah. on Duke's campus? Yeah, I mean, you're coming off two losses and then, <laughs> boom, Monday morning, Cooper flag. Flag day in October. Look, I don't, I'm not, I'm not I'm, so it's just jokes, people. I mean, what Mike Elko has been able to do at Duke has been fantastic. And we'll get into some of the offensive short circuiting that seems to have taken yes. place the last couple of weeks, especially against Louisville. But are you surprised that Cooper flag is going to college? Oh, um, no, his mom played college basketball for, mm-hmm. for coach P remember coach P from Duke when she yep. was at Maine. Yeah. So like there, and she's, uh, you oh, know, wait, are we that old now where, yeah, I'm afraid where to say Joanne it. P McCauley players have kids who, who are going to do, yeah, we're big time recruits. That's okay. That's just, where we are. I just got, I just, <laughs> sorry. Got, I just got more, gr- I just got more gray in my beard. Yeah. Wow. I see, I got jeez, a few more gray Steve, jeez, man. So, okay. So here yeah, we are. Cause like with ignite, ignite has been, has been producing NBA draft prospects, right? Which is the entire point, right? But I guess, and I guess this is uh, a testament to what Nina King's trying to do at Duke as athletic director, where John Shire was elevated to do as the head coach, and they've got a general manager. I mean, NIL factors in here, and and Duke gets the game. And I guess if you're Cooper Flag and you have all of this following, well. No offense to Carolina, but where else would you want to go at this point if you want to combine the two things? And that's that's the selling point that Shire has, a big part of it. Yeah. Also, he can say, hey, Cooper, guys that play, have played your position for us, mm-hmm. Jason Tatum, Brandon Ingram, let's go on. You know, Jabari Parker was a top pick. He yeah. did flame out as a player, but he got a lot of money, right? So yeah, Not the point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He got so, there. Right. They put guys in position. to They bring in guys that have all this ability at that position and build on it. Mm-hmm. They have a they have a proven track record of that. Uh, so was it coincidence that John Shire got a contract extension just before this official announcement from Cooper Flag? There are no coincidences in Duke basketball. <laughs> and it was kind of like how the what was the Slam magazine like had the it had the whole thing the like whole ready thing. to go. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it was. Remember that news came out also while Cooper was on campus. That's right for countdown his official to visit. Yeah, um, and also back to the football thing. It came out the day Duke was playing Florida State in that big football game. Like, mm-hmm. oh, by the way, we're giving the coach a new contract. That's going to get released. <laughs> I mean, listen, <laughs> Let's I'm remember. not. You don't even have to say. Like, we all know what it we get is. It. Like, some now schools are a little sensitive sometimes about like they, they don't want the the football coach to get their feelings hurt. Mm. Not as much there, which <laughs> I get. By the way, I'm not saying I don't, but yeah, yeah. it's. <laughs> 